workout motivation seems to be one of those eternal topics that is always having tons of videos and tons of content online. Because, I mean, obviously, if you know that you want to reach a certain level of feeling and way you look, but you can't get yourself to do it every day, well, then how are you going to have that dream body or that dream level of health and vitality that you want? So because discipline and getting inspired are evergreen topics, I'm going to share what my current process is for staying motivated and inspired to work out. Hey guys, Alex Hine, author of the book on habits, Master the Day. So I've included down below this video, the first link is for a weekly email crash course on the simple daily rituals you can use to lose your next 20 pounds. So you can check it out right below this video. You also get an email every couple days on how exactly to go about doing that. Now the big problem as I see it in the fitness space is that when it comes to losing weight or staying disciplined, you usually only hear two things right? You hear the first, which is take it easy, be gentle with yourself, just do what you really enjoy and focus on your self care. (laughs) And on the other side, you hear the basically stop being a little baby, get up at 4.56 AM and do your goddamn deadlifts every day and shut your mouth. But the problem is neither of those are really reality because most people, even really successful people, even really fit people do not get up at 4.56 AM to do their damn deadlifts. Right? They find a time that works and they do it. And for other people, this infinite compassion thing is great, but what if you don't feel like doing it ever? You're just going to gain the 30 pounds or just get sick because you just keep eating sugar? I think the most important thing is to find your process for the in-betweens. And that's what I want to share here. So this FRC habit is really the main way I approach discipline and getting motivated these days. Because it's easy to know what to do at the extremes. Right? Like if you are successfully doing the discipline and grit thing every day, then that's a piece of cake. And if you are doing the infinite Buddha of compassion, move at your own pace thing, then that's great too. But the problem is what happens if you're sleeping five hours a night because you have a new baby and you're having a lot of stress at work and you're having problems in your relationship? Like then what? Is this just shit city (laughs) or is there another solution? So enter the FRC technique. It's based off of this quote from Martin Luther King. And it says, if you can't fly, then run. If you can't run, then walk. If you can't walk, then crawl. But whatever you do, you have to keep moving forward. So I basically came up with like, you know, like a three-part strategy or a three-part system based on where I am on the spectrum per day. And that's the main thing that dictates what I'm doing in terms of exercise and not just, you know, this raw discipline thing every single day. So fly, the first one, is basically my day usually looks like I'm fully rested, I feel pretty good, and I'm in a good mood. So I'm ready to do something that's more intense. When it comes to run, my day is usually moderate energy, kind of your average day. I'm kind of meh or a little bit tired by the end of the day and not like super jazzed up. And when it comes to crawl, the crawl days are when my energy is super low, like less than a three out of 10. I may be feeling depressed or anxious, it's just blah, and maybe I only slept for a few hours, or there's like really something big going on in my life. Or it's a phase of my life that's just really, really, really rock bottom motivation. So this is really different from this idea of just being massively disciplined, which is great. I mean, if that's working for you, keep doing it. Or versus not holding yourself accountable and letting yourself off maybe a little bit too easily. So the in-between is you have to tailor it to adjust it to each day. Just like hopefully you would adjust your diet to based on whether or not you're hungry or how you're going to be in your relationship based on the stress and the demands. You just do your best that you can for that day. Same as if you're a parent, same as if you're an entrepreneur. You cannot actually physically go just as hard every single day because it's just not how you feel every single day. So what does the FRC habit look like in terms of what I actually do daily? So on the days where it's fly, right, I'm feeling great. I'm feeling like at least a 7 out of 10 or above. On those days, my workouts are typical high effort, high intensity weightlifting or high intensity workouts like HIIT training, like a 20 minute really intense yoga workout or a 20 minute really intense circuit training or HIIT training, Tabata training even. These days, I very rarely do high intensity, but mostly it just means because my default workout is lifting weights, I just go harder essentially. I'm willing to push those last few reps. I'm willing to push myself a little bit closer to exhaustion and sweat heavier 
than the other days that I have on this spectrum or this game plan. That can also involve things like going for a longer duration, like over an hour. It can involve things like playing a soccer match, which is usually pretty tiring for me, and so on and so forth. Now, the second level, run, which is usually most of my average days, often fall on that spectrum, right? So run meaning it's middle. It's like, meh, like I'm tired. I only slept six and a half hours. I get off work and I'm just like, oh, I'm, whatever. Like, I, I'm, let me sit on the couch for a sec. Let me get a snack for a sec, right? So it's kind of in the middle going towards the lower end. And the philosophy, the mindset that I use to stay motivated is I'm not going here to work out. I'm going here to get a boost of energy by just getting my blood flowing. And so that's really helpful because all my weights are primarily workouts with moderate intensity with moderate to heavy weight. And then one or two days a week, I do like a moderate intensity yoga class. But if I'm like tired by the time I'm done with work, I don't want to do any of them. And so the mindset of I'm not going to work out, all I'm doing is I'm going to get a boost of energy for the rest of the day. My second wind is going to be all about just getting circulation going. And then I'm just going to get the blood flowing. I'm going to get woken up. I'm going to feel good. It's like my 6 p.m. cup of coffee, for example. And that mindset is usually enough to get myself back into the gym when I've been really, really, really avoiding it. Now, the crawl, ultimately, I mean, frequently what we're talking about is the crawl, right? Because if it were easy to get yourself motivated, you probably would not be watching this. And if you're at the run or above, then you're probably doing okay-ish. Probably don't have major problems with health or your appearance, for example. But on the crawl, the crawl can come from maybe you had a relationship fight or argument last night. You were up till four and had to be up at seven for work. You're shot, completely shot. What are you going to do? You're going to do a high intensity cycling workout? Like it's not happening, not happening. Way more likely to have a high intensity ice cream eating workout. So what do you do though? I mean, if it's a one-off thing, that's fine. But what happens if you're in a phase of life that's like that? What happens if you just have a new baby and you're up all throughout the night for a year, two years? I know parents like that. What happens if it's a life crisis and somebody you know dies or you're the caretaker for an aging parent or someone that's in hospice care and every day you're just barely trying to get through the day? Then what? You can't not exercise for two years. You can't not exercise for an indefinite period of time. So what are you going to do? Now, in those crawl phases, obviously, those are the most important because you know, the motivation and energy are the lowest. It's like... What do you do on the days where you don't want to do anything? That determines what your life becomes and who you are. Because on the days where you feel good and life is great, of course it's easy to stay motivated. Of course it's so easy to stay motivated because you feel good, you feel well. So on the crawl days, I reduce it to something so simple. The crawl days involve going for an hour walk with a podcast or walking the dogs in the woods. Kid you not? That is as literally as simple as it is. Because literally, if you are too exhausted to do anything, to even engage in your life, then going for a walk, ironically, it's so easy to get started, but after like 40 minutes, you feel really good. Like you feel really, really energized. You have way more energy. You feel so much better from that. So just by doing that, you're still keeping yourself in the loop and you're doing what you know you need to do to feel well. And afterwards, you will feel well even if you're going through the toughest phase of your life or you just had a really bad night. So I hope that helps you guys. I know this is an evergreen problem and a very, very important topic. Before you go, again, check the first link out there below. It's for a free lose your next 10 pounds, 10 to 20 pounds crash course. You'll also get an email every couple days that's gonna help you do that, all right? And then before you go, I have two related videos right on this over here.